Here are the best games coming out in the next nine months. Spider-Man is coming back to video game consoles this spring exclusively on the PlayStation 4. It's an open world game, it looks gorgeous, and it puts Peter Parker in the modern world. Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably the biggest game coming out in 2018. It's set to arrive in October, and it's the long-awaited sequel to the first Red Dead Redemption, a large open world third-person action game on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The new game is of course coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and it's also set in the Old West, it's also a big open world, and it's from the folks who brought you Grand Theft Auto, so it should be pretty excellent, interesting, violent, lots of different adjectives. It's another year, and therefore there is a new Call of Duty coming out. It is, of course, another first-person shooter. Uh, it's the beloved series that puts lots of players running up against each other in online multiplayer. Uh, the new one, we don't know the setting just yet, but we do know it's a sequel to the Black Ops sub-series in the Call of Duty franchise. There's a new Super Smash Bros. game on the way, coming to the Nintendo Switch this year. We don't know exactly when, but we do know that it's a brand new game in the long-running fighting game series from Nintendo. We know it'll star lots of major Nintendo characters, and we know that some new characters are coming from Splatoon 2, but otherwise that's all we know for now, but it does look really interesting. The God of War is back. He's slightly less angry. He looks slightly less pale. He's coming back in a brand new game that reinvents the God of War franchise. It is called God of War. Surprise. It's a third person action game. Uh, you play as Kratos, the returning hero of God of War. And the addition in this game is that he's with his son and they're fighting new types of enemies in a Norse mythology based world. Uh, and it looks incredible. That also arrives on April 20th. Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally coming out this year on the PlayStation 4. It's the third entry in the long-running Kingdom Hearts franchise. It's a third-person action RPG franchise that puts the worlds of Square Enix and Final Fantasy together with the worlds of Disney. It looks gorgeous, just like the previous Kingdom Hearts games, like it was ripped from a cartoon, but we'll see if it actually makes it out this year. Octopath Traveler is a very weird name for a game, maybe, but it's a very literal name in this sense, as it's a game where you play as one of eight different types of characters in a classic Japanese role-playing game style. Uh, it's for Nintendo Switch, it's from Square Enix, and it's kind of a throwback to the Final Fantasies and Dragon Quests you might have played growing up. It looks like uh, they took a Super Nintendo game and made it into a beautiful modern experience and it's coming to the Nintendo Switch this summer. The third in the new trilogy of Tomb Raider games is arriving this year. It's called Shadow of the Tomb Raider and it's coming out this September on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. It continues the story of Lara Croft as she kind of discovers herself and becomes the Tomb Raider that we all know and love today. On April 20th, Nintendo is releasing a brand new toy game controller thing. It's called Nintendo Labo, and uh, you actually construct video game controllers that are paired with specific games out of cardboard. It's a kind of combination DIY, make your own controller video game thing. It's kind of aimed at kids, it's aimed at parents and kids playing together. It looks really neat, and that arrives on April 20th on the Nintendo Switch. Death Stranding, perhaps the most exciting game on this list that also may not come out this year. It's the next game coming from Hideo Kojima, the long-running creator of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. It's his first new game away from Metal Gear in almost 30 years, and it looks completely bananas. It's coming to the PlayStation 4 exclusively. It may or may not come out this year. Uh, Hideo Kojima is kind of known for releasing games when they are ready rather than when the release date has come up. So we'll see if it makes 2018, but we're hoping it does because it looks bananas. So that's it. Those are the top 10 games coming out in 2018. Let us know what you are looking forward to in the comments section below.